Now we're going to dive into the cabin. We're going to start with a general overview of everything that is inside of the cabin of the Tapo 2, and then we'll dive into the details. Okay, so right off, we'll talk about two prominent features when you open up the door, your window covers as well as your door screens. So the window covers adhere by magnet. You just pull them off and line them back up. Um, these are blackout and insulated window covers. So this is a great way to maintain the interior cabin temperature, whether it's trying to, whether you're trying to keep it cool or trying to keep it hot, these are gonna, gonna come in really handy. Uh, and also of course, provide a nice layer of privacy. Then you have your door screens. This door screen, again, uh, utilizes magnets along the edges to seal the uh, screen as you drop that down and get a nice seal along the entirety of your door. Uh, and then in order to roll those up and get them out of your way, you simply roll them up. Um, and then the magnets keep the whole rolled up screen out of the way. There's no additional strap or tie down that you need to do. So once you roll these up, you're good to go. And now we'll take a look inside. One of our favorite features inside the spacious cabin of the Tapo 2 is the giant stargazer window. Uh, this window opens. Uh, it also comes standard with a shade and a screen. We'll show you how to install those. Um, they're very easy to put on and take off depending on whether or not you need them. Um, the screen can be left on separate from the shade if you wanna have the screen on all the time. Uh, but for starters, let's show you how to open up the Stargazer. So you'll notice these levers all around the outer perimeter. You're just gonna press that red lever, or sorry, red button in, and then rotate the lever 90 degrees. You'll do that on all sides. And then you can push up in the center and you're just gonna twist the knobs on the struts on both sides of the window in order to vent the window and hold it open. So you can do this incrementally as much or as little as you need. Um, one thing that we do when we're camping and it's getting cold overnight, but we want a little bit of airflow is actually just to release the struts on both sides and then rotate this center knob and let it rest here. And you just get a little bit of passive airflow through having um, the stargazer window just cracked ever so slightly. Now I'm gonna show you how to install the screen for the stargazer window. The screen and the, the shade come standard with the Topo 2. Since the stargazer is the primary source of ventilation, we wanted to make sure that it was usable in all conditions, no matter how many bugs you have where you live. So this cover, has a, an Escapod logo at the top. So you're just gonna orient that towards the top corner. And then from inside of the trailer, you're simply going to grab either corner um, and pop it on. You can hear the magnets engage. Uh, the nice part about this is if you are trying to just move this out of your way, you can kind of double it down while you're getting the screen opened up and then very easily flip this down and secure it along the rest of the magnet plate around the outside of the window. Once you get the screen in place, you can go ahead and install the window cover. Um, similar process here, you're gonna look for that Escapod logo um, and line everything up and install your cover. There you have it. Now we're gonna talk about all of the ample storage that you have inside of the Tapo 2 cabin. For starters, we're gonna talk about the headboard storage back here. There is a ton of space inside of this cubby. If you've watched some of our walk arounds, you've probably heard me say that my toddler loves hiding in here. You can fit easily five, two and a half year olds in this cubby. Not recommended, definitely not safe. Um, but 
It's extremely deep, so I don't know how deep we are here, probably eight inches deep inside of this cubby. It's a great place to stash away the stargazer cover if you're not using that. Um, it's also really nice because it opens up, uh, has a split panel here, so you can access one side behind your head without disturbing your partner and vice versa. We also have storage underneath the nightstand. So in here, there's a nice little cubby underneath here. This is a great place to stash keys or eyeglasses, books, things that you want to kind of tuck away that are small that you don't want to get lost in the overall space of the cabin. And then we have the cubbies up top here. Now to use these, you're gonna press the knob in the center and pop out that knob and then you simply twist 90 degrees and this drops down. If you're wanting to hold this up to utilize the laptop stand here to watch a movie, you can swivel those over. Um, there are steel plates on the top of each of these panels that land on magnets inside here to keep those in place. You can put your laptop up here. Two shelves in each of the upper cabinets. Uh, they're very tall shelves, so you can't even see the full height on the cabinet on that upper shelf, but tons of storage in here. Um, we're able to fit enough clothes for myself and my husband uh, as, and my son with plenty of room to spare for a week long trip um, at a minimum. And then closing this, you can lift up, slide these over, press it closed. And then for transit, you just wanna make sure that you are pressing that knob in. That's what locks it in place. So this won't rattle open when you're on the road. Um, and then the same thing on either side here. And then the lower cubbies as well. These are great for socks and underwear, that type of storage and those close using magnets as well. And then you have your cubby on this side, uh, your master power switch, solar controller and Truma controller are all located within that driver's side um, lower cubby. And then you have two bonus storages over here. Um, in this far side on the passenger side, you do have your 110 outlets. So if you are wanting to use the outlet, that is where you will find it. And then the last pieces of storage are some of our favorite details on the Tapo 2, and that is our coat closet and our mud room that you'll find right along the entry door. So up top here, you have your coat closet with two hooks up top. Um, you can hang coats and bulkier items that you don't wanna bring into the trailer. And then underneath here, you actually have a heated slot for shoe storage. So you can keep your shoes outside of the trailer and away from the sleeping area, but you don't have to leave them outside. Um, and this venting um, heat duct here, uh, that provides both the heat for the cabin, also has some slats underneath it that allow heat to um, move into that mudroom and actually can help dry out your shoes if they get wet during your daily adventures.